We've got uh, John Parsons on line number, what is it, seven. How you doing, sir? Uh, hi, Pete. How you doing? Not bad. Uh, I'm glad we could get you in today. You're making a documentary on Muscat Falls, is that right? Yes, that's right. Um, How's it going? <laughs> uh, it's going uh, well in some regards. We've conducted uh, interviews in Labrador uh, with uh, Internation, Sheshashi Band Council, Nunatsiavut, NCC, um, Grand River Keepers, lots of concerns, concerned groups in Labrador. And uh, we've that done interviews. Sounds fairly one sided so far. Is that the fair depiction or? Uh, well, the Inu, Inu Nation and Shashishi Band Council are beneficiaries of the uh, New Dawn Agreement and of Muskrat Falls, True. broadly speaking. And they're, the comments that I got from uh, Inu Nation members and from councillors on Shashishi Band Council were uh, mixed, I suppose you could say. It wasn't, uh, there were concerns, of course, and some of these are things that we've heard about uh, racism and hiring practices um, for the project. But, you know, I wouldn't say it's one-sided at all. It's well, a documentary implies that it is sort of, uh, you know, an objective view, I suppose. Uh, lots of documentaries have a uh, perspective, I suppose. But are you talking to proponents as well and people from Nalcor, et cetera? Well, that's uh, really what I wanted to uh, call in about because I've been having some real trouble getting anyone uh, to speak as a proponent or uh, in favor of the project. You know, uh, it's going to be difficult to present an objective or balanced take on the project if I can't get people who want to speak in favor. So I guess I'm sort of putting the call out here now as well that if there's if there's anyone out there who would like to speak in favor of the project, um, I'd be happy to do an interview. Uh, any idea why they might be reluctant to the, uh, perceive this as a, an anti-Muskrat Falls venture, or is it just a mystery? Uh, who, who's that now, Pete? Well, uh, you're, presumably you've asked, and you're having difficulty getting proponents to speak and uh, getting uh, you know people interested from Nalcor, etc. But uh, do, you, do you have a, uh, an understanding of why that might be if they're not coming forward? Uh, is it a perception problem, or is it just that they're not keen to uh, participate in any documentaries on the subject? Well, I'm, re I'm really not sure. I've been in touch with Nalcor and Natural Resources trying to get an interview or some kind of comment since July. Hmm. And I don't know what you think is a reasonable amount of time to wait for uh, people to make a comment. No, I think that like if, they, you know, if, if they're asked or presented with the opportunity, then a couple of weeks should be long enough for them to give you some indication of whether or not they're interested. Uh, but they haven't done that or they said no. Well, they've just been giving me the runaround since July. I so mean, they, they haven't they haven't said no, but they haven't ever come and and agreed to any sort of uh, timeline. Well, uh, I, I think you have a beef then. I think at the very least you should have a no by now. Uh, you know, if they have no intentions of doing it, uh, July is quite a while ago, and you're just trying to figure out who uh, who might uh, and when they might uh, uh, agree to an interview. So I, I think you have a beef there. Yeah. I mean, all the rest of the uh, documentary is done. We're starting our editing process uh, now. I mean, I, I'm able to wait for another little while to get these other interviews if possible. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it is somewhat frustrating. And maybe I just I put it to you as a question as someone who works in media. Mm -hmm. But do you think that uh, even, like, assuming that there is suspicion about um, say my motives, say even hypothetically, because I, I have been critical of the project and I have been uh, asking questions about the project from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But uh, is it not generally in the interest of uh, proponents of a project like this to make some sort of statement anyways? You know, is, is that not better than having uh, the documentary come up uh, and say, you know, representatives from Nalcor and from uh, yeah. natural resources decline to make comment, you know? Is it I don't know. You would think so. And my my inclination would be to say that, yes, it would be better to uh, at least have your voice in there, given your side of it, regardless of who's doing it. But people have been burned in the past. And you can obviously manipulate information and treat it in such a way that even if it's giving objective information from a, a valid perspective, it can be turned around and, and used in such a context, in such a way that it, uh, you know, furthers the uh, uh, 
the goal of the uh, of the filmmaker who has a particular agenda. You know, it, it's a difficult thing, and I don't know all of their perspectives. But the fact that you are on record as being of a certain uh, uh, mind on it is probably not doing your you know your goal any favors in terms of uh, getting people to speak to you. Right. Well, I, my position has been since, um, well, I mean, I, I've been writing editorials about this for the Newfoundland Labrador Independent. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my position has always been that I'm waiting to be convinced. Right. And I don't know what more I can say to proponents other than that I would like to present their side of the story. Well, they might think you're, all, you're already convinced and there's no change in your mind no matter what. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, no, I'm not going to speak again, in their behalf. But. What more can I do other than say that I intend to present uh, their side of the story in a fair and objective way? Well, that's about it. And uh, I guess then it's in their court as to whether or not they're going to accept that or have uh, you know any interest in and in being a part of it. And really, I guess you can't uh, you can't force them to. You can only sort of say, look, I I, I tried and I asked uh, these people to uh, you know ch chip in and uh, they declined. Uh, they declined either by saying no or by never responding and giving me a yay. Uh, it's frustrating, no question about it. And uh, perhaps you know. Uh, there are other ways and means of getting people to agree. Maybe you need to uh, co-opt some other uh, people who have the, the contacts or have means of, uh, of getting the yes you're looking for. Yeah. Well, and, and again, I, uh, I am putting it out there. If anyone uh, you know, in your audience would like to make some sort of comment, uh, they can get in touch with me through uh, my Twitter account, which is JWPNFLD. And that same handle at gmail.com is my email. All right, sir. Listen, I wish you all the best, and uh, I hope uh, we can talk again. And you can tell me that a lot of folks came forward and did give their uh, give the other side, I suppose, uh, uh, that you're looking for. All right. I thank you very much for your time, Pete. All the best. Have a good day.